Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Season 1, Episode 3 of Moon Knight, entitled The Friendly Type. First episode was a lead up all the way to seeing the Moon Knight suit. Episode 2, some of the suits all the way lead up to seeing the Mr. Knight suit. So we'll see what takes place in this one. This is our halfway point of the series. When this episode ends, we are halfway done with the first, maybe only season of Moon Knight. We don't know what comes uh, next after this. But for now, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get directly into it. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. Links are in the description box down below for the Patreon, Twitch stream, and everything in between. Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. Every MCU show is currently located here on YouTube, as well as on Patreon. Full reactions, watch-alongs, etc. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and get into this, shall we? Batter up. Then I, uh, I, I found him with the scarab, living 20 minutes from our old place. I like that. Stop in mid talk to get your uh, get your photo taken. Probably going to get himself killed running around Cairo. I miss him too, Zoe. But that's your baggage, not mine. I remember as a kid, I thought stamps were the coolest thing with the big ink pads and different things Just to stamp around. Avoid your old haunts. Childhood's so much better than this. Sentimental, but I worry about you. Have a good trip, love. Here's your fake passport, mother lover. What was it October 28th, 1994? I'm older than this person. Oh, shit. Maybe that's a fake date. You never know. I'm used to being a young one. You're too late. You're never gonna find Harrow. Really? What about Jack Harlow? That was a cool little flip. You wanna do it again? Dancing, we fight, and what we can do? We dance and we fight. <laughs> Smack. I like, I respect it. Just like a little kid right there. Headbutt for you, though, brother. Mark, bro, it's three people with, with, with kniffs. Do better. That's what you get for trying to be look fucking look cool, bro. Oh shit. Mark. Don't do it, Mark. Dude, I was I was I was just going to say, with the knives being clear and reflective, we were probably going to get another transition right there. And I'm glad that we did because that's smooth. I just, I just love the way that they do it. I feel like Mark should be able to do that a lot easier. That's a straight up comic book fight, though. Like, you got somebody in the alleyway, three knives, one dude fighting them off. I like it. It almost feels a little out of place. I do think the most out of place thing I've seen so far on Disney Plus is still those the colorful like bicycle gang that was in uh, 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 Book of Boba. It kind of gave me that vibe for a second, but it ended up being like, yeah, this is just like, this is just like a superhero comic book fight, bro. I can vibe with it. Maybe the most random thing I ever paused to say, but seeing those bananas right there, I would harm a bushel of bananas right now. A whole bushel. One after the other, I'd suck him fucking bananas off. Hey, bro, get, get out. Stop it. You're ruining people's product. Mirror. The mirror is right there. Where's Harold? Where's Harold? Tell me. Mark. Mark. That's enough. You got hit right in the back of the head, bro. Soft spot. And good night. And you even hit your head on the fucking ground? Are we getting Jake? I don't. I don't remember Jake ever being 
I, again, I'm not again. I'm I'm still not super big on like reading the Moon Knight stuff. I've always known who the character was, but not too much of like the inner workings. I feel like I could be wrong. You can correct me. Jake was the taxi driver. Jake Longley, right? I think there's something about the Moon Knight taking over. But then again, Mark is the Moon Knight. Or do you think it's... I don't, I don't know. I guess I were to find out. Where's the tomb? Take him to the ledge. He's just a kid. He'll talk. You tell him Poe Dameron, take his ass over here. This man said, I'm sorry. Fly him. Off of, another kid off a cliff, just like Charlotte. I thought he'd talk. Now you were wrong. You big fucking dead CGI bird. What's wrong with you, Steven? Oh, doesn't sound so bad to me. See how you fare against Harrow without the protection of my healing armor. All right, so what? You have any good ideas? The healing armor. I, I like that smooth drop. One. And he's gone. Can't you? The, the the subtle drop of the healing armor, though. Okay, that helps me understand things a little more. You're looking directly into the fucking eclipse. No matter what happens, keep digging. Imagine working your whole life, like studying this stuff, and like the next, the next eclipse isn't gonna be until fucking, and then it just happens. People probably, people, weather people, astrology, whatever the fuck, people are shitting their pants at that point. I'd be terrified if I was like, "Yep, we got another thirty days until this one." And you look outside and it's just there. Like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> some bad's happening. I space bar. Thank you. Do not oh my days, we're inside. We're inside the great pyramid of Giza. I love Steven just marking out, bro. This is the shit he lives for. This is what he wants. Oh, that's so cool. Horus. Isis. Tefnut. Tefnut? Hell yeah, Osiris! Got Osiris up in that mother lover. You've so, been banished once for nearly exposing us, Conchu. Think Conchu's been the one taking over a little bit? Again, bro, where is Ra Obelisk and Slifer? I, I just, <laughs> just I'm gonna keep making that joke. This is a safe space for you to tell us if you feel exploited by Conchu. This is not about my feelings! I'm not the one on trial here! He is! This is a safe place, bro. They. Dangerous he is, if you will just listen for a second. He has committed no offense. Not yet. This matter is concluded. Never changed their minds and decided to show mercy. Find them whose sarcophagus and you'll find your tomb. Okay, how am I supposed to do that? The sarcophagus was stolen and sold on the black market. You might want to start there. A fucking fetch quest, basically. It's a whole fetch quest. So we can get to it, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe let's just give our shit a rest for a moment and just try to strategize before we get to. <laughs> I just love that they allow the word shit now in this whole situation. It just makes it so much better. I'm here for me and for everyone else who may have died of Haro's disease. And I still think the best use of the word came in Infinity War when Star Lord's got the, the fucking Glizzy up to the Spider Man. And he's like, What master do you serve? He's like, What do you want me to say? Jesus? He's like, Oh, you're from Earth. I'm from Missouri. He goes, Yeah, that's on Earth, dipshit. Top tier moment ever in the MCU, and it doesn't get spoke about enough. <sighs> Love you, Tony. Copy that. Roger, Roger. Mm. Roger, Roger. A couple of minutes in there alone. He's, yeah, he's, he's praying. Sorry, if you expect my help, it's not going to be while I'm in prison. <laughs> fucking said he's praying, so they're fucking. Fine, have it your way. All right. You are the worst. Literally the worst. Take the cartilage. What's it say? Read the stars. It should make a star Hey, what are you doing? Damn, bro. Uno reverse with that motherfucking glizzy glizzy. Okay. 
You gave him the fucking gun back. Do you really think I'm an idiot? Ladies, I'm hot. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Says something, something about naked ladies. Never in pit, pit in hot. Two, ah, never out. He done closed the goddamn side. Now, what did that have to do with any? Why'd you? That's rude. You're breaking a collectible. How much money did he spend on that? Hey, he's gone. Where is he? I have done put on the Moon Knight suit and I'm on top of a pyramid. And Anton's just fucking mind blowing the whole time. He saw an old man light up a purple staff, destroy something he probably paid a good fortune for. In that thing, and just let him walk away after that. Then he sees a guy in a, a fucking mummy Batman suit. That's too much for one day. I'd have to go to bed. I do like the flying in with the crescent moon for the for the cape. Glizzy, glizzy, pop, pop. She's a, she's a good fucking shot. Bulletproof suit. Yeah, go ahead and waste your ammo. And man, it came out and said, God, dog, kickflip, yuck him. Oh, he didn't. Oh, oh, in your neck with a fucking moon piece, heart, stars, and horseshoes, clovers, red balloons. And this, bro, the fact that the suit changes instantly with the host. Oh, everybody, time out here? Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah, time out. Let's all just like chill the F out and talk for a second. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. Take the body, take the body, take the body, take the body. Damn. I would take my necklace back out of him and keep wearing it, but that's just me. I'd be a badass. I thought she was going to shoot the goddamn horse, and you got hit with the fucking stick. Want to watch that again? It's kind of trippy. I kind of like that. It's pretty sick. Pretty sick. Sudan. Stephen, when the gods imprison me, tell Mark to free me. Hey, yo, is he sacrificing? Can't you sacrifice himself right now, Mister Knight? That's so fucking sick. Do what I do. I'd fucking throw up everywhere. I'd just be puking. They're in there just holding hands, about to imprison our brother. Ah, so they take Conchu, they also take the suit, right? And in the end, they left us no choice. <laughs> I still don't understand why they're bringing Arthur into this no. I know he was accused and I know he was the former avatar of Conchu are they bringing him in because he was a former avatar like the avatars you just get to keep all that knowledge and they keep get to going about their business I feel like that'd be something that'd be wiped from somebody or maybe because they ended on such bad terms the other avatars were like hey bro here's your membership card come back whenever he's tethered to this place gotta destroy the great pyramid of Giza huh
tell you a secret. That is such a good detail. I'm like, why do I Enjoy. hear like chains and stuff? No, it's because dipshit has glass in his shoes. That's such a good detail to continue that. Dealing out pain on your behalf. You can hear it as he staffs. Remember one thing. Your torment forged me. Your torment my victory to you. forged me. That alone is a bar, man. That alone is a bar. That's the end of the episode. All right, a hey, third episode halfway point. Did they sneak anything? In? Uh, okay, so the friendly type, Stephen Grant. Um, wait, that's the <laughs> uh, with Mark in the forefront and Harrow ahead. Mark and Layla navigate Cairo for intel. I mean, basically, they go try to get intel. It kind of backfires. They get the constellation pieces that Stephen's able to hold up. The big part of this, because it, it doesn't feel like it progresses the story too much, a lot of extra side stuff, but we do get the overarching side of it is Khonshu turns back the night sky to get them to get this exact location that they need to give them the advantage. Sacrifices himself for that for Steven and Layla. Mark now in the bet. Mark is now trapped. Steven's at the forefront. There's also another mystery person here. I don't think it's Conchu taking over. I think it could be Jake. It could be somebody, something completely brand new to the thing taking over and just murdering people. That's the mystery of it. But Conchu sacrificed himself. He's in prison. He told Stephen to tell Mark, hey, free me from this prison. You have to. Kind of makes sense that when they first appeal to this, this council, they're like, hey, Harold's trying to do this. And he's like, no, I'm not. And they're like, okay, we believe you. It'll end up them being something where they imprison him, whatever it is. But I'm just curious about how he still has ties to these people. I think that's what I want to know the most. Overall, really good episode. It's not, I think, second episode. First episode is really a banger, to be honest. I think first episode is probably the best episode of this whole thing so far. We only have three episodes left. We only have three more weeks left of Moon Knight. And I'd be curious to see how these things play out. Uh, I think in the fourth I don't know. The fourth episode may be more of a filler discovering the, the mystery of the third episode. The fifth episode could be Harrow getting, you know, Amit. Sixth episode. I don't know. I have, I have, the more I think about it, the more it's like, what are they doing over the next three episodes? We can do nothing but wait to find out, essentially. So I'm going to go ahead and head out on this. You guys let me know what you think of the friendly type episode three of Moon Knight. Your thoughts on the series so far. And uh, don't tell me what you think is going to happen. Because that's my whole thing is if you tell me your thoughts and you think something I'm not thinking, then that's if that happens, then that was a spoiler for me. I'm a fucking weirdo, okay? I don't like I don't like other people talking about what they think is going to happen. So uh, I have some ideas. We'll wait to see how everything plays out. I'm going to head out. Links to everything if you want to watch this full thing uninterrupted. Links to Patreon, everything in the description box. Playlist up on screen. Hey, do me a favor. Stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.